beautiful bastards. I hope you're doing absolutely fantastic. And welcome to today's ASMR video. So, in this video, we're gonna be continuing with the True Crime series. And today's episode is about a serial killer who never killed anyone. <laughs> if it sounds confusing, I understand. But just listen to actually figure out what's going on. Before we get started, feel free to join our ASMR Discord server. The link will be in the description. So our guy is called Futoshi Matsunaga. Futoshi Matsunaga. He was born in April 28th, 1961. He is a Japanese serial killer who both defrauded and tortured his victims in what is collectively known as the Kitakyushu, Kitakyushu, Kitakyushu serial murder incident. Fujoshi was convicted of six counts of murder and one count of manslaughter between 1996 and 1998 and he was sentenced to death by hanging. He murdered his victims with an accomplice called Junko Okata who received a life sentence. Fujoshi's crimes were so atrocious that most Japanese media were not willing to report the details. The Japan Times reported that the case is without comparison in the criminal history of our country. That's crazy, man. Let me let me search his name. I want to see his face. He looks exactly like what you would expect him to look like. <laughs> That's weird. It's crazy that like 99% of serial killers look weird. Like when you see their pictures, you're like, yep, that's a serial killer. Yep, this guy did it. <laughs> I don't know why. Anyways, let's actually talk about his early life. Fujoshi was born in Kokurakita, Kokurakita, Kokurakita ward, and he grew up in Yanagawa, 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 Yanagawa. Fujoshi received good grades in school and had a charming personality, but tended to exhibit disciplinary problems. He was transferred to another high school after engaging in a relationship with a junior high school girl. He married at 19 and had a son. Holy shit. Take it easy, bro. <laughs> 19. Despite being married, Matsunaga was involved with at least 10 mistresses. Getting all kinds of action at 19. <laughs> In October 1982, during his marriage, he became involved with Junko Okata, one of his former schoolmates from Yanagawa. And in 1984, Futoshi promised to marry Junko his former schoolmate, but her mother, Shizumi, did not approve of the relationship because of his abuse of her daughter. So, Futoshi raped Shizumi. What the fuck? So he was like, yo, can I marry your daughter? She's like, no, you abuse my daughter. And he was like, you know what, I'm gonna rape you, bitch. Bro, this guy. 
guy is a maniac. In 1985, Matsunaga convinced Junko that her family hated her because of a suicide attempt and persuaded her to move in with him. Bro, this guy raped your mother and you're just gonna move in with him. What? The same year, Fujoshi also purchased a building in which he could operate a futon business. Afterwards, he began to electrically shock employees on the third floor. Fujoshi would sometimes suddenly shout towards other men, saying things like, there is a spirit behind you, it's sucking away your fortune. He also made references to religious terms like samsara and kami. By 1992, Fujoshi had stolen 180 million yen. That's about 2.2 million dollars through fraud and blackmail. Damn, bro, this guy is insane. He and his former schoolmate Junko evaded police capture and were put on Japan's most wanted list. What the fuck? Hold on, hold on. Let me uh, look up his crazy girlfriend that actually uh, agreed to move in with him after he raped her mother. Who the fuck is this crazy bitch? Bro, she looks crazy. <laughs> Trust me, she looks exactly how you would, you know, imagine a crazy girl. Just look her up. Her name is Junko Ogata. She looks crazy, man. She looks like she has no no feelings whatsoever. What the fuck? She's actually still alive. What? She is 59 years old. No way. What about the guy? I'm pretty sure the guy died, maybe. That motherfucker is still alive. What? He's 60 years old. I thought he was sentenced to the death penalty penalty by hanging. Damn, these guys are still alive, bro. <laughs> and they are just one year apart. 60 and 59. Alright, that's, that's interesting. <clears throat> Alright, now let's talk about these murders. Futoshi lived in what is this condo condominium? What the fuck is condominium? English is not my main language, so my bad. Let me just look it up real quick. Con oh, okay, okay, got it, got it. It's like a large property complex with a lot of uh, individual units. Okay, got it. <coughs> he left in one in. Kokurakitaku. Kokurakitaku. His first victim was a married woman with three children. In April 1993, he convinced her to leave her husband and run away with him. Yo, my question is, how the fuck this guy is convincing women left and right to go with him? He convinced the first lady to go with him after he raped her mother. Now he convinced uh, this random married woman with three children to run away with him as well and leave her husband. Bro, this guy got some serious communication skills <laughs> to look like this and uh, be a maniac and still convince those women to actually move in with you. That's crazy. Yet I am perfectly 
insane <laughs> and they cannot get a date anyways
before the woman and her daughter was confined of Fujoshi's apartment, the woman escaped by jumping from the second floor in March 1997. So, uh, when I was born, this woman escaped this maniac. <laughs> she was put into the care of a mental hospital and her daughter was released. <clears throat> the following month, Junko, his former schoolmate, left for work and did not return. Futoshi contacted her family, threatening them and blackmailing Shizumi, his mo her mother, that he raped over the 1985 rape. Uh, Futoshi then faked his own suicide prompting Chun Kong to return. Damn, why would you even return? If he died, good for him, dude. Why, why would you even return? You should be happy, you should not return. Bro. Uh, well, when she returned, she was subjected to continued abuse. Damn. He also raped Chun Kong's married sister. Junko's family gave 63 million yen, which is about uh, seven, seven hundred and seventy-seven thousand dollars to Fatoshi. Bro, these guys got money. How would you have seven hundred grand just laying around, and you give it to a maniac? Interesting. Uh, after which he held them captive and psychologically controlled them in ways similar to the methods of uh, a cult leader called Shoko Asara. On December 21st, 1997, Futoshi coerced Junko to shock her 61 years old father hold on what the fuck is coercive if 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 it means convinced i'm gonna lose my mind i'm gonna lose my mind bro if it means convinced oh okay okay it doesn't mean convinced shit dude <clears throat> so basically he forced her to shock her 61 years old father of death <laughs> when Shizumi her mother her mental state began to deteriorate Fujoshi commanded Riko where's Riko I thought it was Riko there's a lot of names here this guy is killing people left and right uh, Reiko is uh, Junko's married sister. Okay, so he commanded Reiko, Junko's sister, and her husband, Kazuya, to strangle her on January 20, 1998. Damn, bro. He convinced, or he forced, not convinced, he forced the first girl to shock her father. Then, he convinced her sister to kill her mother. This guy is crazy. Several weeks later, he commanded Kazuya to strangle Riko while their 10 years old daughter, Aya, held her down. Damn, bro. So this guy, this guy got everyone killed, but he didn't touch anyone. They just, he just commands you know, commands them to kill each other, which is worse. Matsunaga and Junko then confined Kazuya to a bathroom where he starved to death on April 1998. Matsunaga then forced Junko and Aya to kill Riko's five years old son, Yuki. A lot of killing going here. I lost track to be honest. During the trial, Kumi
Romeo's daughter testified that Futoshi and Chanko had tortured Aya with electricity. Chanko's testimony differed, saying the girl's recollections might have been inaccurate because of guilty feeling about committing her first murder. Kumio's daughter strangled Aya on June 1998. Okay, I, I swear God, I just lost track of who's who. All I know now is they're fucking killing each other because this maniac is forcing them. Futoshi and Junko dismembered and boiled their victims' remains in pots, then finally disposed, uh, disposed of them in washrooms or into the sea. Futoshi blamed the murders on Junko, who, with their two children, were the only survivors in her family. In July 2000, Futoshi convinced... <laughs> Bro, really? He convinced another woman to go away with him. I, I just want to know how this guy's doing it. I swear, I just want to know. Lured by the prospect of marriage. Dude. I swear, God. How this guy does it, I don't know. In August 2011, he gave her, she gave her uh, twin children to him and Junko. Fijoshi and Junko then convinced the woman to give them 20 million yen, which is about $246,000, telling her that they would need the money to bring up her children. <clears throat> That's insane. That's insane. Kumio's daughter, who was also being held captive, escaped from Futoshi on 2002. But Futoshi found the girl on February 15th and took her back into captivity. He then tortured the girl with electric shocks. And on March 6th, the girl escaped from Futoshi again and reported the crimes to the police. She was 17 years old. Police arrested Futoshi and Junko the next day when they tried to retrieve the girl. The twins and the couple's two children were taken into police protection. The media initially reported that Futoshi and Junko had held their victims captive, similar to the case of Fusako Sano. That's another serial killer, I guess. The pair were charged with Aya's murder on September 2002. Uh, Takashi murder on 2002. Shusume murder on 2002. Basically, they just charged them with all the fucking murders. There's like a zillion ones here. Junko um, calmly confessed to her part in the murders. But Futoshi insisted that the woman had fabricated their stories about him. Police never recovered any human remains and found no physical evidence. So re they relied primarily upon the, the testimonies of Kumio and Junko's daughters during the investigation. On September 2005, a district court in Fukuoka sentenced Fujoshi and Junko to die by hanging. The court tried six cases but considered that they had not killed directly but had only injured them by electric shocks which later resulted in his death. That's one of the guys. Okay, I'm getting overwhelmed here. Long story short, they got sentenced to death because of all the horrible crimes they did. Then they appealed the verdict and on September 2007 the court upheld Futoshu's original sentence but uh, Junko's sentence was changed from death to life imprisonment because uh, the other guy exerted control over her. Okay. <laughs> 
so yeah that's the end damn bro god damn god damn god damn god damn that's one of the most horrific stories i've ever read dude <laughs> this guy is insane as much as i'm creeped out by the, the, the horrible crimes that he did i just want to know how this guy's convincing a woman left and right to go with him like seriously what Anyways, I'm glad that he's behind bars and, uh, you know, getting this guy sentenced to death, like, just killing this motherfucker would be great. Uh, life imprisonment is not enough for people like this who commit those insane, uh, crimes. Like, this guy just killed nine people. <laughs> Anyways, rest in peace to the victims and, uh, Thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed today's episode. Make sure to join the Discord server. The link will be in the description. And I hope you had fun. Let me know in the, in the comments if you want to see more. 